This is Waves Lesson 2, and this one's on phase difference. So it's a bit of a tricky one to, to explain this one. First of all, we need to know what a radian is. So depending if you've done A-level maths and where you're up to, you may or may not know what a radian is. But essentially, it's, it's a different way of measuring angles. So we use degrees, but you can use radians as well. So first of all, let's do a comparison between the two. 360 degrees, which is obviously a full rotation, is equal to 2 pi radians. Okay, so a radian is simply 360 degrees divided by 2 pi. So you put that in your calculator, you will get the numerical value of 1 radian in degrees. And it's 57.3. So you may already know this, you may not. But that's a numerical value. So what we need to do now is, is relate this to waves and... I've got a way of doing it. If I draw out a wave, to the best of my ability, so let's say that's a wave. Now imagine, imagine if you cut this wave off at this point and then transpose the bottom bit and pull it over, you would essentially end up with what tantamounts to a full circle. So in what we can do is describe like sections of the wave in terms of angles. So a quarter of a circle, which will be a quarter of a wave. So that would be say 90 degrees. So let's do a quarter of a quarter of the wave, which is a quarter of a circle. So in degrees, it would be 90 degrees. So in radians, remember we said that 360 degrees of, which will be a full wave is equal to two pi radians. So a quarter of a wavelength will be that divided by four, so that will be pi by two radians. So that's a quarter of a wave. So half a wave would be half a wavelength, or 180 degrees, or pi radians, and then we could do three quarters of a wave, and the full wave. So I'm going to remove all this and draw like a table. So a full wave... A full wave is 360 degrees, so a full wave, 360 degrees, which is 2 pi radians. Then you've got the 3 quarters of a wave, so that would be 3 quarters of the wave, would be 270 degrees, and 3 over 2 pi radians, so 1.5. The next one we've got half of the wavelength, so lambda by 2. So that would obviously be half of 360, 180 degrees. And pi radians. Sorry if this isn't the tidiest. And finally we've got a quarter of a wavelength. This is another popular one. Which would obviously be 90 degrees of the wave compared to a circle. And then half again, so that would be pi by 2 radians. And then the next thing, the best thing to do is to do some, do an example question. So I'll talk you through the question. Um, and then I've got some more questions afterwards where you can practice. If you get the first two wrong, maybe, and then get the next ones right, you might want to rewind the video and then go through the questions again until, until you're more comfortable doing them. Hopefully that information is written down. Let's move on. So this is the type of question that you might get. So I'll do this as an example. So it says two points on a progressive wave have a phase difference of pi by six radians. The speed of the wave is 340 meters per second. What is the frequency of the wave when the minimum distance between the two points is 0 0.12 meters? So we've got the wave speed. That's okay. We don't need that till later. What we want is the frequency. So we need wave speed and wavelength. So we've got the difference... So it says that a pi by 6 radians is equal to 0 0.12 meters. So what we need to do is figure out how many pi by 6 radians go into a full wave, essentially. So if you remember the full wave, what was it? It was 2 pi radians. 
So we need to know how many pi by 6 radians go into a full wave. So the easiest way to do that is to do 2 pi radians divided by pi by 6 radians. And if you put that in your calculator, you will get 12. So there's 12 of them on our wave. So we need to do 12 multiplied by the 0 0.12 to get the wavelength. So the wavelength is going to be 0 0.12 multiplied by the 12, which we just calculated. So that gives a wavelength of 1.44 meters. Then frequency is simply the wave speed divided by the wavelength. So wave speed, we've already got 340 divided by the wavelength 1.44 meters, which gives a frequency of 236 hertz. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's do, let's do a different one. So in this one, we've got a progressive wave of frequency 150 hertz travels along a stretched spring at a speed of 30 meters a second. What is the phase difference between two points that are 50 millimetres apart on the string? Of course, if you want to have a go at this one on your own, you can pause it and then have a go. So we've got the frequency 150 hertz, a speed of 30 metres per second. So what we need is the, is the wavelength. So that's straightforward. So the wavelength is equal to V over F. So that's 30 meters per second divided by 150 hertz, which gives us a wavelength of 0 0.2 meters. Now what we've got is two points that are 50 millimeters apart. So what I want to know is how many of these go into the 0 0.2 meters, the full thing. So that's you should be able to do that. You've probably got that already, but let's do it properly. So 0 0.2 meters in millimeters is 200 millimeters. And then we've got 50 millimetres. So 50 millimetres over 200 millimetres gives us a quarter of a wavelength. So lambda by four. You could have done it the other way around. You could have done 200 divided by 50. And then you know that this four, then just divide by four. Either way, it's completely fine. Anyway, quarter of a wavelength. So a quarter of a wavelength, we should know from our table that we got, would be 90 degrees. Or in radians, your answer could be pi by 2 radians. So those two are the phase difference. 90 degrees or pi by 2 radians. I would advise to always go with radians if you can. Unless that's 4 in degrees. So let's have a look at the next one. You should be able to have a look at this one now. So if you want to pause and have a go. So what is the phase difference between two points 0 0.16 metres apart on the progressive sound wave of frequency 256 hertz and the speed of sound is 330 metres per second? So again, we've got the two points, 0 0.16 metres. We've already got frequency and we've got speed. So we need the wavelength. So the wavelength, yet again, same as last time, is V over F. So it's 330 divided by 256. The number's not as friendly on this one. It gives a wavelength of 1.289 meters. Then we need to do the distance between the two points divided by the full thing, the 1.289. So I'm gonna do 0 0.16. In fact, if you do 0 0.16 divided by 1.289, the number's not very friendly, and depending on your calculator, might not work very well. So let's go the other way. Let's do 1.289 divided by 0 0.16. Just calculate that, see what we get. So 8.06, which rounds to eight. So there's eight of those in the full thing. So we could just do the two pi radians for the full thing divided by eight. And that will give us pi by four radians is the phase difference. Hopefully that went okay. 
let's do one more. So we have to pause and have a go. The speed of sound in water is 1500 meters per second. For a sound wave in water having a frequency of 2500 hertz, what is the minimum distance between two points at which the vibrations are pi by three radians out of phase? So for this one, we need to find the wavelength. So wavelength is V over F. So V is 1500 divided by frequency, 2500. So that gives a wavelength of 0 0.6 meters. And the amount of wave that we're looking at is pi by three. So obviously a full wave is two pi radians. And what we can do is divide that by pi by three. So that gives us six, six times. So if we do 0 0.6 meters times a sixth or divide by six, that gives us a minimum distance of 0 0.1 meters. Hopefully that went okay. If you feel that you need to do the practice questions again, please feel free to do so. It is a bit of a strange topic. Uh, it can take a couple of examples for, it to, for you to get your head around it, but hopefully it went okay. And if not, just give it another watch. I'm sure it'll sink in with a bit more practice. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.